Thank you for joining us, uh, and this is, uh, I believe, is part four that we're of our teaching that we're doing on the name of what is the name of the Messiah or Mashiach, as you would say it in Hebrew. And uh, we've been talking about the fact is that uh, our English translations use the word Jesus, and a lot of people have been have called upon that name for salvation because it's the only name that they've known that speaks of the mercy of Yahuwah. Uh, he knows that the name was has been hidden from us. He knows that his name has been edited out of the scriptures over 7,000 times. We've, we've mentioned this number of times, uh, the word, it's been edited out of our English translations with the word Lord or God capitalized in your text. You'll find that to be the case if you do your research. All you gotta do is look up the word Lord in the concordance and it'll refer you to the Hebrew number 3068. And if you look up the Hebrew number 3068, you'll find out that that's the name of the Creator. In the Hebrew letters, uh, his, his, his name is spelled with four vowel-sounding letters. It, they're, they're spelled Yod, He, Ua, He. And that would give you the pronunciation of Yahuwah. Um, the first two letters, the Yod and the He, you'll find that in the word Halal U Yah. That's a word that's been around for over 4,000 years. It's, it's, a, it's spoken the same in every country, don't matter what language you speak. If you, if you, if you uh, the, it's still pronounced as halal, uya. A lot of people say hallelujah, but the actual Hebrew would have been better pronounced to say halal, uya, is the way that that, his, that phrase is pronounced. And now that phrase translated, the halal part, of course, is praise, and the u is the letter that in modern Hebrew is referred to as a wa or vav, but in ancient Paleo-Hebrew, the that letter, uh, the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet that looks like a hook, uh, is pronounced ua, and or u. It has the u sound, and it, it's like, that's why you get the halal uya when you uh, pronounce those letters together, and uh, it is it that translated means praise unto Yah or Yahuwah. The, the Yod, the, the first letter of the Yod and the He would give you the pronunciation of Yah. And so a lot of people don't even know, they say hallelujah or hahalau Yah. They say that quite often you'll have even people that, that don't have any belief in, in the Creator whatsoever will use that phrase simply because it's been a phrase that's been, a lot, been around for over 4,000 years and it's a uh, phrase that uh, uh, means praise unto Yahuwah. And uh, which is, I think is awesome, is the fact that he's kept his name before us even though it's been hidden. Uh, his, his name completely being Yahuwah has been hidden from us by the uh, translators of the scriptures and, um, and substituted with the word Lord instead. And um, and that's been over, like I said, if, if the exact number I believe in, in from the book of Genesis to the book of Malachi, which is the in the was referred to as the Tanakh or the Old Testament, you'll find out that it's 6,823 times that his name is hidden from us. What a difference it makes when you read the scriptures and you see his name there. It just, oh, it's so, I can't tell you what it's done for my life. And I've been studying this for the last five years. Oh, I've been quite spending a lot of time uh, in studying this because I wanted to understand it and I want to understand why it happened. I wanted to understand everything about our Creator's name. And as I began to study, I began to study how, how important His name is to Himself. I mean, if, if He thinks His name is important, of course He does, then we should also esteem it very highly and reverence His name. We're to proclaim His name. We're to glorify His name. We're to uh, uh, call upon His name. You know, this, the name Yahuwah is the name that all the patriarchs uh, of, uh, and the prophets called upon. Abraham called upon the name of Yahuwah. You know, David, King David, called upon the name of Yahuwah. In fact, how do you think he defeated Goliath? He defeated him, if you'll read the scriptures, in, 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 I believe it's in 2 Samuel, you'll, you'll, you'll find that he, as he came before Goliath, he says that you come to me with a sword and spirit spear but I come to you in the name of course in our tra English translations it says the Lord he came at he came at Goliath in the name of Yahuwah he said who he knew he, he had covenant with the creator of the universe 
and he used that name to defeat the, the, the enemy. And, you know, we as believers, we, if we, begin to, we now are beginning to understand his name. I begin to understand his name. I begin to proclaim his name. I, I notice more power in my life. I notice my prayers are much more effective. I'm praying with much more confidence. I'm praying with such, so much more authority because I know that the name of Yahuwah is the name above every name that's named, both in heaven and in earth. And every tongue shall confess that Yahusha is Yahuwah to the glory of our Father. And um, so with that said, uh, um, I'm getting back to our teaching about the, the name of the Mashiach or the Messiah. I mentioned in our last session that I had a, I want to show you this. This is an actual uh, copy of the 1611 original Bible. Uh, this is not the original itself. This is an actual facsimile copy, but it would look like... Um, as far as everything inside here would be exactly the way it would look in 1611. One thing that's interesting on the first, on the very lead-in page here, uh, you'll notice that King James were never called King James. <laughs> His name is Imes, King Imes. Uh, that's the reason why is because, as I mentioned to you in our last session, that you'll not find the letter uh, J in the original 1611 King James Bible because the letter J was not in prominent use at that time. It, the letter J is only approximately about 500 years old. Um, even though it was began to be used uh, in, 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 the, in some phrases, but, but not in the actual King James Bible. There's no J letter in here. And um, it wasn't until later around, I think around 1628, that in the third or fourth edition of the King James Bible that they eventually, uh, the, the letter J was incorporated in there and, uh, but in this, in this original Bible, you won't see the Messiah's name as Jesus. You'll see his name as uh, Jesus, uh, which is the Latin form of the Greek, Iesus. Now, we're going to get into this in, this in our session. We won't be able to spend a lot of time, but we will in the next few that we're doing. And uh, the, uh, there was no need to ever transliterate, and we talked about what it means to transliterate a name, would be to carry over the way a name is pronounced into a second language, but using the, the, you have it to use the letters of your language to make the same sounds as the original language, if you understand what I'm saying. The, the Messiah or Mashiach's name is and was Yahusha. Now, there was no need to carry it over into Greek or, or to Latin, you know, uh, to, to get it into the English translation. But they, they uh, in fact, there wasn't, you could not even, uh, from the original name being, being Yahusha, uh, sounds nothing like uh, Iesus or Jesus. So it's totally an inaccurate transliteration of the name. And then when eventually from there you got the word Jesus, which actually evolved, it's an English word that uh, was made up from Jesus, they began to take a, to make that I into a J, and it began to be pronounced as Jesus. Um, so, with that said, there's no reason for anyone, once they have this understanding and knowledge, to be calling upon that name, but they ought to be using the correct, accurate name, which is Yahusha, or, or Yahuwah is, is, is the Father's name, uh, but Yahusha now has inherited the Father's name, and now that we declare that Yahusha is Yahuwah and uh, to the glory of our Father. And uh, now I want to show you, because uh, I've been promising to show you some of the Hebrew letters um, of the Mashiach's name. And uh, so I'm going to do that. First of all, uh, this is the English Yahusha. This is the, now this is the Hebrew letters in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, which would be more of the way the script uh, was originally written, say in the Dead Sea Scrolls, you'll find, uh, find the letters there. Um, our modern Hebrew is totally different. The script is totally different. I'm, I don't have that here to show you right now. But the modern script is different than the actual ancient Hebrew. Now, the, the modern script is begin to change. They begin to change the, these, the letters they used, the shape of them. Um, when they were, of course, in Babylon, they begin to change the way that uh, the uh, word, the letters they were begin to use. And, but anyway, this is the, this part here, Hebrew reads from right to left, opposite of the way English does. English reads from left to right, but 
Hebrew does it right. They do it from right to left. So with that said, these are the letters that uh, in Hebrew of the Messiah's name. This first letter here is a Yod. Some in modern Hebrew they refer to it as a Yod, or but it is it is it, in ancient Paleo Hebrew you would pronounce this letter as Yod. It actually it represents your hand. And uh, this second letter is what we refer to as is a Ha. Uh, in in uh, in modern Hebrew it's referred to as a He. But Yod He or Ha. The third letter is uh, looks like a hook or a nail. And this is in modern Hebrew referred to as, as a wa, this letter is, or a vav. But if you understand that that's a, there was no W a letter in Hebrew, uh, there's no um, V letter in Hebrew, in ancient, I'm talking about ancient Hebrew. And so this is, these letters here, this letter here, which is, causes so much controversy right here because people refer to this as a wa or a, or a vav. And this is where we get all these variations of the pronunciation of the Messiah's name. Um, th so that's where it adds a lot of confusion. We'll talk a little bit more about this later. I want to go through these other letters, though. This letter that looks like a W is really not a W at all. It's, it's, it's the uh, uh, Hebrew letter Shane, uh, ancient, or Shin in modern Hebrew. This looks like teeth, and it's, it's pronounced that way, like a Shin, like Sh. So in this last letter that looks like an O is really a, 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 in ancient Hebrew, Ayin, or Ayin in modern Hebrew, how you would pronounce that uh, letter. And so you have here these letters, the first three letters would give you the pronunciation of Yahoo. This is the first three letters of the Creator's name. And so Yahoo, and then you add the last two letters, the Sha, the Shin, or the Shin, and the Ayin uh, together. This, these two letters give you the pronunciation of Shah, Yahusha. Now, Yahusha is the um, is the root word from Yasha, where we get the word uh, is a Hebrew word uh, for salvation, deliverance, savior, um, and uh, that's the root. The Shah part is the the Yad added to it would give you Yasha, and uh, that's you know used. Uh, if you if you wanted to to denote something uh, as a as a as a prefix to that to the name to the word Shah, but Shah you'll find Shah as an individual word by itself over a hundred times in the scriptures, where it's in reference to salvation. So you don't need the the Yad in front of it for it to mean salvation. That's another teaching because we can't. I'm not going to go into that today. But anyway, with that said, it's five letters: Yud, Yad, He, Uah. Shane Ayin would give you the pronunciation of Yahusha. Now, where do we find that in the scriptures? Well, we're going to get into that in our next session because I don't have time to do that and to do it to do justice on that. But um, we're also going to talk about the name of, of uh, what people refer to as Joshua in our English term, which most scholars know and understand that the Mashiach also had the same name as Joshua, in, which is Yahusha. And uh, that's why we know, one of the reasons why we know, because that's the way it was translated, uh, Joshua's name as Yahusha. And um, we're going to talk about that as well. And we're going to talk about how uh, Joshua's name or Yahusha's name, I'm talking about now the son of Nun, and um, talk about it. his original name was Husha. And we're going to talk about that, show you in the book of Numbers, chapter 13, that Joshua's original name was Husha, and that's the way it was pronounced, not Hushua, it was Husha. And Moses changed his name by putting, by adding the letter, the first letter of the Creator's name, Yod, in front of it, and it became Yahusha, I mean Yah, Yahusha. So, uh, we'll get into that in, in our next session, but uh, I did want to introduce this to you right off today, and uh, sort of get you a little familiar with the Hebrew letters. And we'll spend more time. It may be a little confusion to you. may not really grasp everything yet. But believe me, if you'll stay with it, you'll understand it. And I can promise you, you'll be glad you did. And uh, because when you learn the Hebrew language and the richness that's in the language, you will, you will really love it. And you'll it just open up so much revelation and understanding to you. So thank you for our time together. We'll go into another session in just a few minutes. And I'll get that uploaded. And... Uh, 
if I'm if this is ministering to you, I want you, if you will, you know, let me know that you're being blessed by this. It helps me to know that you are being encouraged, you're being uh, instructed, you're finding information out that you hadn't found before. It really is an encouragement to, me to know that others out there are being blessed. I, I, I've prepared and spent a lot of time studying this, but this is my calling. This is what I'm called to do. And uh, I love doing it because this is what my father has given me for ministry, for, for the calling that he's called me to do in my life. And uh, I just thank you for your time. Uh, I appreciate you. I love you and uh, look forward to our time again. Shalom.